You've said that when you're in work, you worry a lot uh, about how you come across in social situations. Yeah, it really makes me feel really anxious, like what I look like and what people are thinking. Yeah, you said that you worry that you um, visibly shake. Yeah. Um, are there any other things that you worry that people will notice? I think obviously the shaking, I think like my hands and legs shaking and kind of going really red and, and sweating and just looking really weird. <laughs> so it sounds like you have quite a strong mental image of how you see yourself when you're in these social situations. Yeah, definitely. You, so you go red, you shake. Is there anything else that you think that you do? I mean, describe yourself. How do you think you look when you're in these situations? Just like, I think I just look really obviously weird and out of place and like really red and just visibly shaking and sweating and kind of not being able to communicate properly with people. Um, is there anything that you do to try and kind of defend against these things to manage um, these problems? Um, I guess like when I'm holding the camera, I just grip onto it really, really tight um, or I kind of clench all my muscles and just find something that I can focus on and to kind of try and make myself shake less and not go as red and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you, you focus on something, you grip onto the camera, do you make eye contact with people? No, I just tend to just look down. Okay, so you also avoid eye contact. Is there yeah. anything else that you do to manage the sweating, for example? I just, as I like, kind of looking down and like wearing all black so it's less obvious, um, or kind of wearing, yeah, just more layers and all black mm -hmm. so you just can't tell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you think would happen if you stopped doing these things, if you stopped gripping onto the camera or, uh, you know, you started making eye contact and not looking down? Um, what do you think would happen? I think it would be so much worse. Um, yeah, I think I just would just shake even more and be more anxious and look ob more obviously kind of weird and out of place. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm thinking now is how do you feel about if we did an experiment to, to test out your thoughts on what would happen uh, if you stopped doing these things? If we did a bit of a, a role play where we pretended to enact a situation at work? Okay. <laughs> Um, and if we did this maybe twice, and the first time you do all the things that you normally do, okay. um, you grip onto something, look down, um, is there anything else that you do when you're in these situations, these work conversations, to try and cope? Um, I just kind of, all just like fumble and like kind of just clench whatever, I, whatever it is I'm holding, just really tight and just make sure I don't make any eye contact. Mm -hmm. um, okay. at all, just kind of get through it. <laughs> okay, so in the first time I want you to do those things as much okay. as you normally would. In fact, okay. maybe even slightly more than you normally would. Okay. And then the second time I want you to drop doing those things altogether. Okay. How does that sound? Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> um, and do you, how would you feel about if we filmed this so you could actually see what you looked like? Okay. <laughs> do you have a camera with you that we could video on? Yeah, um, my, is my phone okay? Yeah, 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 we'll use that in just a sec. Okay. Okay, before we do this then, we're just going to fill out this form. It's because uh, what we're doing now is an experiment. We call it a behavioural okay. experiment to see what happens when you change the way that you're behaving. Right, okay. Okay, so the first column says that I need to fill out uh, an experiment to test this thought that you have. Yeah. So the, our experiment is going to be that we do a conversation at work. Um, who should I play? If you're playing yourself in this role play, who should I be? Um, maybe like a client at work. I always have to sit down with clients before we do the shoot and okay. kind of get to know a little bit more about what they want. Okay, so um, would it work if I was maybe having a wedding and I was hiring you to yeah. be a wedding photographer? Yeah. Okay. What kind of problems do you see coming up in this conversation that we have? Like what will you see yourself doing on camera? Um, shaking, like being really obviously shaking and okay. bright red. and. Okay, so visibly shaking. So how... How much will you be shaking? If 100 is like shaking uncontrollably and zero is not shaking at all, um, how visibly shaking will you be? 90. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, what was the other thing that you just said? Um, like I go really red. Okay, so you're um, going to go red? Yeah. Um, how red will you go? I mean, if we look around this room. Um, 
probably like the chairs. Okay. Because, so yeah. you're going to be as, as kind of brightly pink as these chairs are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so out of 100 then, how, how pink would you say these chairs are? Um, 90 out of 100. Okay. Um, what else are you worried is going to happen when we have these conversations? Just worried I'll be say, like, say something stupid and not be able to kind of get what I'm trying to say across properly. Okay, and how, how stupid out of 100 if 100 is ridiculously stupid? Probably like similar 90, okay. I'd say. Um, what else are you worried will happen when we have this conversation? What else might you see on the camera? I think you'll probably be able to see that I'm a bit sweating and... Okay. And how much will you be sweating? Um, again, 90. I think. Like, like, really, like visibly yeah. sweating down the face, okay. Yeah. Okay, and what do you think will happen the second time around when you stop kind of doing the things you normally do to cope, when you, uh, you maybe start to make eye contact and you're not gripping onto something? I think it'll be even worse. <laughs> I think okay. it'll, yeah. How, how much worse? Slightly worse? Like twice as bad? Twice as bad. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Right, if you, can you give me a phone and we'll... Yeah. Should I just use this? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's probably best. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hi. So, um, I was just wondering if I could talk to you about maybe um, doing my wedding photography. Yep. Um, what kind of kind of what kind of things do you see? Um, what, how do you want it to be like? Uh, I suppose I'd like lots of shots of um, our family and our friends, quite a lot of natural shots, you know, of okay. people talking when they're having drinks. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, do you want it, like, do you kind of see it being outside? Is that something that you're interested in, outside yeah, shots? Yeah, it's going to be a summer wedding, so we okay. quite like, like a lot of outdoors shots. Um, if possible, you know, if it's not raining, that would be quite nice. Um, yeah, quite some arty ones, if that's possible. Yeah, um, yeah, that would be. I've done quite a few things like that before. So, have you got anything that you could show me about your past work? Uh, yeah, I recently did um, some shoots outside, kind of in like a wood environment. So that I could show you that maybe it would kind of help with some ideas. Okay, great. Right, let's do the second one now. Okay. Okay, you ready to put down the bottle and okay. just to make eye contact? Okay. 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 Hi, so I was just wondering if I could speak to you about doing my wedding photography. Yeah, yeah. And um, what kind of thing are you looking at? How do you want it to be like? Um, I'd like kind of lots of shots of family and of friends um, and quite a lot of natural shots, you know. Okay. Um, are you interested in having things outside, maybe? And he said it was, he wanted it to be natural. Yeah, because it's going to be a summer wedding and, okay. you know, if weather dependent, of course. Yeah. It would be really great if we could kind of get lots of shots, you know, outdoors. Um, okay. Of, yeah, people chatting and, and maybe some quite arty ones as well. Yeah. Have you got anything that you could show me about your past work? Yeah, actually, that's kind of a lot of the things I do are outside and I'm really interested in getting natural shots. So, um... I could show you some of my work and we could kind of see if we could kind of develop something from that. Could be quite good. Okay, let's pause it there. Okay. Right, I'm just going to give you this back now to look at. Okay. And uh, I just want you to, to watch that. Okay. And then we'll just chat about it in a moment. Okay. It's weird seeing it. <laughs> so, if we just go back to the things that you predicted then, you, you said yeah. that you thought you were going to shake, visibly shake. Could you see yourself shaking on the video? Um, definitely not as much as I thought. I think it's obvious that I'm obviously quite anxious, but I don't think you can tell I'm shaking that much. Mm -hmm. So you said that you were going to shake 90 out of 100. How much shaking would you say that you saw there um, in the end? Maybe like less than 30. Okay. Um, you said that you were going to go red or pink, mm. as pink as these chairs, 90 out of 100. 
Did you notice yourself going pink? Um, not really. Actually, definitely less than I thought. Um, and yeah, not as much. Okay. You said that you were worried that you were going to say something stupid. Yeah. Ninety out of a hundred. Did you notice yourself say anything stupid? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than actually it was. So you thought you were going to be like 90, say something that was 90% stupid, that's really quite strong. I mean, yeah. in the end, did you pick up anything that, so could we maybe put that as a zero? Maybe like less than 10, maybe. Okay. Um, you said that you thought you were going to be sweating. Yeah. And that you were going to be visibly sweating. Did you, did you notice yourself sweating in the end? Not really. Okay. Definitely not as bad as I thought. Again, you thought you were going to be like 90 out of 100, like <laughs> seriously, visibly sweating. So what, what score would you actually give it in the end? Maybe, again, less than 10. I don't think you could tell at all. Mm -hmm. You also said that you thought it was going to be twice as bad when you stopped using your, you know, your normal strategies. Yeah. What did you notice watching that video? It was actually probably better when I wasn't doing any of those things. I think I looked a lot more natural and I was able to say what I was trying to say. I think it just come across more personable when I'm not kind of looking down and stuff. 